G'day guys, welcome back to the channel for another year. So uh, I'd like to wish everybody a happy new year 2024. And I hope you guys had a great Christmas as well with your friends and family. So uh, anyway, today on the bench, we're going to have a look at this new release from WL Toys. This was kindly sent in by Banggood. And uh, yeah, it's just been released on the website there. So uh, this is called the WL911-A, also known as the Pro Boat here. Uh, it's age 14 plus, and it's basically like a beginner's uh, RC boat. If you haven't owned an RC boat, this is an entry level one that you can uh, get into the hobby with. And it's very affordable, guys. This only has a price tag of $48.99 US, so it's under 50 bucks. As far as I know, it only comes with one battery. That's what uh, Banggood has listed anyway, but I'm sure you can get extra batteries for this. So yeah, $48.99 US with the one battery and $68 Australian. So very affordable little RC boat here, okay? Now this runs off a 370 brushed motor. So it is a brush powered uh, little RC boat. The length of it here is uh, 35 centimeters. So as you can see, it's not a large RC boat, but it should be a lot of fun. So anyway, I've taken everything out of the box because I just want to quickly go through details of this boat before we take it out. So as you can see, we've got the boat on the stand. I've uh, put that together, it comes in a plastic bag and that's not only for storage, but uh, to display your boat. Quick instruction guide here, as you can see, uh, for the WL911A and it just bas basically goes over all the basics here, how to set up your boat, the controls here, okay, for the transmitter and the functions of the boat as well as the spare parts list on the back. We also get a little accessory bag here which has the included uh, nut wrench to take off the uh, the prop here. Okay, there is no included spare uh, nut here, so you're gonna have to make sure you don't lose that one, just in case you break a prop. We do have a spare propeller here, all right? And we've got the little Phillips head screwdriver, as well as the very common USB to 2S charger here to charge up that little lithium ion battery. Now you already probably noticed that the transmitter we get with this RC Speedboat is the original WL Toys transmitter they've been using for many years uh, with their RC cars and trucks. Uh, lately, in the last year or so, they have changed this transmitter. They deleted it from their RC car and truck line and they're going with that new style transmitter with the phone holder on there, of course. So uh, yeah, we've got the standard transmitter here. Now for this one, it still does have the printing of the throttle dual rate and the steering trim, but uh, there is no throttle dual rate. As you can see, these are buttons, uh, where on the RC cars and trucks, they were actual turn dials, like potentiometers. But uh, yeah, they've kept the printing on there because of the actual mold of this transmitter. They didn't bother changing that. But what this is, is your trimmer buttons left and right. They're digital trim buttons. So the steering trim labeled one is your left trim. And for the boat, we've got the right trim under the throttle dual rate. This does not have any throttle dual rate, of course. Uh, you just uh, regulate the speed, which is proportional, of course, with the trigger. And we've got the on and off switch just there. Now this button here, the mode button, it does say in the instruction booklet here, usually there's no function of that button, but you probably won't have to use it anyway, because it should be bound from the factory anyway, but it does label it as a pair of code button there, as you can see, which is the mode button. So that just in case you have uh, binding problems, I guess, which you shouldn't have, um, they would have bound it from the factory using that button. So that is effectively a bind button, okay? Now, of course, it takes four AA batteries, which I have to put in there myself before I take the boat out. Okay, so let's have a quick look at this new Pro Boat, the WL911A. As you can see, we've got LED lights on the back. And on the front here, so we've got some headlights. This would be great to run at night as well. You'd be able to see the boat. As you can see, we've got the sensors on the bottom here, okay, to create a circuit once this boat is in the water. It shouldn't work with the throttle uh, outside the water. So we've got that uh, sensors there. And we've got the sensors on the top as well. So if you flip the boat over, okay, you can use the controls to anti-capsize it and then take off. It's not a bad looking little RC boat. Now this boat has two uh, canopies to make sure it's extra waterproof there. We've got the cosmetic one, of course, and then we've got some unlocking levers here, okay, to unlock this canopy. 
which has the actual uh, seal on it okay you can see there's a little rubber seal okay to make sure it's uh, waterproof okay so here's a little battery here it's a little lithium-ion pack so 2s so it's a 7.4 volt as you can see it's got 14500 cells which is equivalent to like a double a size battery 800 milliamp hour okay and it's got the little red jst which is uh, very common we also got the balance uh lead there to charge it up okay so you can actually charge that up on a hobby grade charger which is what i've done it's already charged ready to go i didn't really use this at all guys i just put on my hobby grade charger now as you can see this is a brushed water-cooled boat okay we have the little 370 motor there and you can see the tubing that will go through with the water and go around the actual motor as, as well through that alloy piping which also acts as a heat sink as well uh, to cool the boat down on the bottom here you can see the pickup spout near the sensors here and of course that's going to bring that water through go around the motor and then it's going to go right around and then out the back of the boat here as you can see there the water will eject out of there uh, it's got a three wire mini servo you can see the three wires there so there's the servo so that's great it's not a five wire it's a three wire so if you have any troubles with your servo later on down the track just put another little uh, three wire mini servo and of course you can't see the ESC receiver because it will be around the front section of the boat here you can see the antenna though they've just poked it up into the canopy there all right all right guys well that pretty much wraps up the uh, overview of this boat you just basically want to see it in action so uh, so do I I'm pretty eager to take it out a uh, couple other things that I haven't mentioned yet has a distance of 100 meters with the transmitter here which is very common on all these boats they either do 100 to 150 meters on average uh, and the speed they've listed on Banggood for this boat is 21 kilometers an hour which to be honest with you I think that's going to get that uh, with the 370 powered motor here I don't think that's exaggerated at all so uh so anyway guys I'm going to put some four AA batteries in this transmitter like I said I've already charged up the lithium ion pack here on my hobby grade charger so it's good to go so I'll meet you out at the pond and we'll test out this new pro boat from WL Toys, the WL911-A. See how it performs. So I'll catch you soon. Okay, guys, I'm out at the pond here with the WL911-A or the WL Toys Pro Boat here. And uh, as you can see, I haven't been here for a while. In fact, it's been just a little over a year since I've been to this pond uh, when I was doing the speed tests on all my RC boats. Uh, I think it was November 2022. So anyway, Let's put this boat in the water. You notice it's a bit wet already. I was just uh, checking out if the trim was okay, but it's fully charged. This is gonna be its first run. All right, so straight off the bat, it's got pretty decent speed for the 370 brushed motor. Seems to turn sharper to the left than to the right, as you can see. Not too bad, just a little bit of a difference there. See, I decided to come down here today, guys, because my actual local pond that's only a few minutes away from my house is uh, all dried up this time of year, but this one's always uh, full and the water's always fairly clean. So, perfect spot to run this boat. That's full throttle guys, on this little brushed boat. It is water cooled like I showed you on the bench there. Still a bit of a range test. If we can take it out there a fair bit. It's got a hundred meters of range. Yeah, she's way out there. Probably about 80 meters away. Now, as always, when I'm down here, there's always uh, these smaller planes flying over. <laughs> but uh, perfect, uh, perfect day to run this boat. Thought I'll come out relatively early because it's going to get up to I think 
34 degrees today. That's full throttle all the way, guys. And uh, like I said, it's only $48 US on Banggood at the moment. And just under $70 Australian. And pretty cool. Great one for the kids to learn on. It's their first RC boat, if you want to get them to the hobby rather inexpensively. This does have a lithium ion pack, 800 milliamp hours, which uh, usually boats of this size being brushed. I've had a few that have only been uh, 650 milliamp hour or 600. This one's got an 800 milliamp hour pack. Should be able to get uh, replacements rather easy or even just put a small lipo in it there's room for a you know 800 maybe a thousand milliamp hour 2s lipo and you probably get a little bit more performance out of it as well as a little bit more run time we'll see if we get around that seven to eight minutes on this run the uh transmitter here is supposed to make a beeping noise once it gets into LVC. So yeah, very easy to control guys, even one-handed. I really like these uh, original WL Toys transmitters. Very comfortable in the hand. Great proportional controls them, you can just slow it down a bit. This does not have a throttle trim because uh, these trim buttons on the transmitter are for the steering trim so it's a digital steering trim but you can slow it down as you can see the more you slow it down it's not going to have a great turning circle the faster you go the turning circle incre uh, increases you know and <laughs> she's skipping about there so what I might do I'll just uh, bring it in and show you the anti-capsizing feature. Okay, we simulate as if I've uh, actually flipped the boat. So if that happens, you just go back, forward, back, forward, and there you go. You don't have to go swimming for it. So just go back and forward on the throttle a few times, a couple of times, and you're good to go again. Got pretty good range. I'm not going to take it to its limit of 100 meters because if it, you know, loses connection, yeah, I'll be able to get it back easily just by walking around the other side of the pond. But I'm going to keep it running. We'll get that uh, get that run time. A pretty decent run time so far. See how manoeuvrable it is on the turn, so left and right. A <laughs> pretty cool little boat. It's fairly quiet too. I'm not annoying any of these ducks. They're not phased by it at all. Let me bring it in closer because it's a rather small boat. I'll just sit down here on this step and we'll keep it close proximity. You can have a good look at it. There's some donuts here. There's some figure eight. So as you can see, when I turn left, it's a bit of a, a wider turning circle then going uh, right that's just the way the uh, servo is set up the swing of the rudder ain't as great you could try trim that up so it's less bias on one uh, one way of turning but then you're gonna not uh, have the the boat go straight then 
So it looks like it's maybe slowing down a bit now. Start to lose its speed a bit. So I may need to bring it in actually. I might, I don't know if these actually do have a warning buzzer. I think it does say it on the listing that it does, but I can't recall if they do. So uh, I'll let it run for a little bit longer. I don't want it to run out and just die out. Oh, we've got a warning buzzer, yep. So let's bring it in. I wasn't too sure if this did have a warning buzzer or not. <laughs> I'm glad it did it. As soon as it slows down, that buzzer starts beeping away. All right. So there you have it, guys. That is the, I'll turn this off. That's the runtime of the new WL Toys WL911-A. New little uh, speedboat from WL Toys that's on the market right now. It's also known as the Pro Boat. Pretty cool little boat, guys, uh, especially for... Uh, I think for the young kids, I mean, it says 14 plus, uh, but yeah, for young kids to get into the hobby, I think this is a good one to purchase. Uh, just to, yeah, have a bit of fun. Maybe get a couple of these if you've got a couple of kids and uh, they can go racing each other. As far as I know, there's only one color. I'm not too sure if they have brought any other colors out yet, but uh, overall, pretty cool boat. Got LED lights there. I can see there's a little bit of water in there. All right. And uh, yeah, we've got tail lights. So let's check. Let's check actually, because I can see a bit of water in the light there. Let's see how much uh, water got in. Uh, it is a double canopy, so it would be surprising to see. Looks like we've got some water in there, yeah. Let's have a look. So, yeah, there is a little bit of water coming out. So it does take on a little bit of water, guys, as you can see there. But uh, everything's waterproof anyway. Battery's bone dry. Okay, I might disconnect that now and uh, overall not too bad you know does take on a little bit of water though just keep that in mind so um, anyway not a bad run time out of this one uh, I think I'll, I'll definitely put up on the screen I think got close to that seven minutes maybe even eight minutes like they stay so, uh... so anyway guys if you want to check out this new WL toys boat as always I'll leave a link in the description below to Banggood as well as on the pinned comment and you can uh, purchase one from there all right guys as i said it's around 48 dollars at the moment okay at the time of filming this video and around 68 dollars australian so 48 dollars american 68 australian and you can pick one of these up all right guys so yeah fun little boat overall and uh yeah i'll catch you on the next one guys until next time enjoy the hobby as always and if you're new to the channel feel free to subscribe like comment all that good stuff and uh, once again, Happy New Year to everyone. Uh, I hope we have a great year ahead in 2024. And I'll catch you on the next video. So until next time, bye for now.